This is Judge Joe Brown, and we're listening to We All Be News. News Free Dixie for the 21st century. So, first, uh, state your name. Uh, my name is Seneca Pope. All right, Mr. Pope, uh, I want to get your thoughts about this weekend, uh, the 50th anniversary of Blood of Sunday. Well, I mean, this is well, the first time in Selma, so I mean, it's, man, it's, it's just pretty amazing that all these people are out here and uh, uh, educational for me. Uh, didn't know about it until I saw the movie and it inspired me to come out here. Uh, I didn't know this event was happening this weekend. I just felt like I just needed to come see a bridge oh, wow. and, and really? stuff. So I, I came out here and it was like, man, this event is going on. So I'm just, uh, you know, enjoying it and, uh, and soaking in all the history and uh, stuff like that, man. And just it's a it's a blessing to be this far, mm -hmm. you know, come along uh, so many uh, so long so far apart, man. It's just it's just really truly amazing. And so, excellent, hey, man. You want to talk? Uh, Nisha Jackson Pope, mm -hmm. and like I was telling you earlier, they don't teach this in Texas history, you mm -hmm. know, so it's just something that we had, the movie, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like in history, they taught us about the church burning down, Martin Luther, all that stuff, but not about the bridge and the people crossing the bridge to fight for their voting rights, you know. Mm -hmm. So I just, we found out about this happening this weekend, and I mean, we just felt like we had to be here. Oh, that's excellent. I want to ask you this too. I mean, 50 years since they passed the Voting Rights Act, and we got we got a situation now where we got about police brutality, what happened in Ferguson, mm -hmm. Eric Gardner situation, uh, the, the economic gap is going on, the fight for minimum wage. Have we really came a long way in 50 years, you think? I think we've come a long way, but I think we still have a long way to go. I mean, honestly, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I agree that that we came a tremendous long ways. I mean, now uh, you got to see it is now. Now it's um, you know we. We got police officers doing uh, police brutality and all that stuff, but it's it's still a system that can defend us, and at least we can go to court. Back in them days, it wasn't no court, it wasn't no, nothing. You got beat, you went home and take yourself up together. I mean, that was it. So you look at the the, the, the progress we have done, it is tremendous. I mean, it, it's, you know, slavery was 400 years, it's going to take 400 more years. To uh, to to uh, I guess make a clean slate, you want to say, mm -hmm. uh, if we can, if it's possible to do that. But it takes all of us, man. It's not only black people; it takes all race of people, all God's people, to come together and and, and turn a blind eye to racism. Well, actually, this how do you raise a black child in a society like this? I mean, I'm day out of time. <laughs> I mean, I'm just I'm trying to raise him as if you know, in, in a way, I don't want him to feel that he's any different. But you know, there are children. Sometimes I hear little little stuff being said. You know, he doesn't understand. You know, and I'm not really teaching him that right right now. But unfortunately, it seems like I'm gonna have to tell him something, I just don't really know how to address it because I didn't want to make any differences. Um, I grew up and I, there, there were no differences made, but then little kids would say things to me and I'd go home and my mother would hear me repeating these things. Mm -hmm. And so she sat me down, she said, what you're repeating, let me tell you what it means. They're talking about you, you know? Mm -hmm. And so at some point, yes, we're gonna have to break down and share these things with them, but I think he may be too young right now. Even if I sat down, I don't think he would understand. Right. You know, he's only five. Mm. You know, it, it's 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 within time. Uh, the older he gets, the more he experiences life, and then life is going to teach him. And uh, you know, I hope and pray God that uh, I'm there to, you know, to help him out, to mm -hmm. understand, and, and and to know. First, we got to teach him right from wrong. Mm. That's off the top of the line. Once we get that instilled in him, then he can make the right decisions and uh, go forth and 
you know, and and do what he has to do to, uh, to yeah. live in his world. So. But I do know there's still some differences because when I hand out invitations to all of the kids, mm -hmm. you know, because you don't want to give one kid on the street an invitation to a birthday party and you don't give the rest, right? Mm -hmm. So you give everybody one. Explain to me why your neighbor doesn't come to your son's party. They're all in school on, together. But then you go to the other neighbor child's, oh, and the excuse is, well, we don't know them. But then another party happens later on in the year and you see that child over at their party. You didn't know them either. So why did you make the why did you go over there and you didn't come to our house? I can only assume it had to do with the color of our skin. You know, but I I don't know. But I, I, I do feel that there's still differences and how we can get past it I'm not sure but um, I welcome everybody in America to sit down think about it and just give your fellow brother or sister whatever race or color they is an opportunity to show you who they are you know thank you I appreciate it man I really appreciate y'all taking no time problem, to talk man. no problem anytime Well, I ask y'all this, like with the police brutality thing, like okay. we know a lot of these cops are gonna get off, right? You know, right. You can, you can have the video camera them doing something wrong to us. Mm -hmm. They still gonna get off, right? You know, mm -hmm. they're gonna find a justification for letting them out. So let me ask y'all, can we get really justice in the system as black people? Can black folks get justice in this white man's system? Any type of justice? Yes, if you have enough money. See, it could be out of money. <laughs> I, I believe yes uh -huh. with God. Yes. I, I, I believe I believe yes with God. But not with the system. I, I think I, I, don't I think I think the system I think the system is being corrected and you you have to know the system before you can be able to work into the system. If you don't if you're not educated about it, then you don't know what to do. And right. then they can just walk all over you. Because the system is set up is what I see is the system is set up in a neutral spot. Mm -hmm. If you know the ins and out of it, you have an advantage of it. Mm -hmm. If you don't know you don't know. Or well, like you said, if you don't have the money. Right. Look at the man that was in jail, I think 27 years right. for murder. He's just now being vindicated. And I, I said, all they're giving him is $40,000 a year. I think that's it. Just now. <laughs> you know, think about how many black folks are in jail because they couldn't afford a lawyer. They had to right. plea bargain. A lot of folks in jail don't have to be in jail. Uh -oh. Right? I was fine. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, forty thousand dollars a year—that that 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 doesn't replace your life. I can't get those years back. He, no, he couldn't. What? I don't know if he was married. I don't know the whole story. But if he was, he lost his wife, his children. The years are gone. He can't get those back. You right. know, or if he never married, never had children, all those years are gone. He can't get married. Well, he might, but it's too too late for him to have children and raise a family and all those things like that. You know. I mean, so, and, that's, and that's thinking it from your point of view of it too. He also got to think it from his point of view of it too. Mm -hmm. Forty thousand dollars. I've been in prison for twenty five years. Forty thousand dollars sounds like a good deal to me. Mm. I mean, that's that what he made me talking about. That's why he probably took. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just saying, if I was done like that, I won't hold a whole lot more money. <laughs> but these are not like once like these isolated stories. These stories yeah. occur all the time. Yeah, you write these stories all the time. And that's and that's the sad part about it. It's just. We, we, we just lack the education. I mean, well, I, and that's how I noticed this too. In this system, they won't allow a, a black man to grow up to be a man. They keep you at a certain level. Like if you try to be a man in this system, they cut you down. We think about Malcolm X or Dr. King. Mm -hmm. You try to assert your manhood, they cut you down. Right. So how can a black person or a black man make it in the system where I guess the system said it where the woman can't respect the black man because they won't allow him to be a man? But you know? I don't. I, I think we're disrespected as well. I, I, I mean, I I'm just being honest with you. There have been times when I have been in the right. Mm -hmm. I have gone to say, not argue, but just say, hey, this is the situation. This is what I would like to happen. What I'm asking you to do is right, mm -hmm. and they still do what's wrong. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I don't. I don't think it had. I think the black woman, as well as the black men, we, you know, we're at a disadvantage. Well, we actually, this though, like 50 years ago, the black men and black women was on the same page. That's why we had the civil rights movement. Mm -hmm. That was a black family movement. Mm -hmm. And now we so far apart. You know, I look at the media, how we, our both of us are portrayed. We're so far apart. When we get to a point, we don't never remember when we had a love affair with each other. 
it's getting to, see, I mean, it's, to a point. And see, but that's that's the problem with the media, though. Mm -hmm. They're they're uh, just getting the uh, the parts that uh, that sells mm -hmm. and stuff. Still, of getting the heart and, and the meat of it. They don't want a boring marriage where everything is happy and everything is going. We both making money. We're doing well. We're raising our kids right. Mm -hmm. That's just too simple. They want the hitting and beating and, and all that stuff and portray us as a loud, rude, angry mm -hmm. family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they, they always want to put the, 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 the one on TV, they say that black women is ugly. They don't want to put the man on TV that says the black woman is beautiful and, you know, they don't never show him on there, but I'm sure the percentages are just as high. Think about how many white, wealthy men marry black women, like billionaires and whatnot, and multi-millionaires. Rob De Niro, I mean, George Lucas, both their wives are black women. But you, but, but no, nobody's in the media. I mean, because nobody's talking about They know it. they got a strong sister beside them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's and it all it all depends on that person too. I mean, yeah, we try to say it's it's because she's black, it's because oh she's white or whatever. It's it's because of that person. Right. We we got to look at each other as individuals too. Mm -hmm. So I mean, she she that's where she wants to be. That I mean, that's the way she grew up. That's how she lived. Um, we just got to embrace everybody for their individualism, you know, just instead of trying to clump us all in one group. We all individuals with great talents and, and great things on our minds to do. We just, it just, it's sad that we all just want to lump all white folks to, you know, this way and then all black folks this way. And it's not, it's everybody is different. Right, we gotta get this. So we all so different, but we have common ground. But in reality, with this global warming and these things going on with the earth and, you know, we need to come together, forget about this, that, and the other. We need to come together and take care of this earth so we have a place to live together. <laughs> <laughs> like Dr. King said, we can live together as brothers or uh, parents, parents together as fools. Mm -hmm. The yeah. choice is ours, really. Right, it is. I want to thank y'all once again. I appreciate this.